I'm using a GH4 to show Field Monitor working with Panasonic's. Panasonic's vary somewhat in their Wi-Fi functionality, but the GH4 is fairly typical for how they all work. At the top of the screen, we have both the remaining time available with the current codec and the number of stills available. At the right, we show the camera power and the iDevice power. Camera controls are across the bottom. Ones we can control have rockers. The ones we cannot control currently have no background. Rocker control is quite simple. Tap and hold on the right to increase the value. Tap and hold on the left to decrease the value. The controls that are available will depend on what mode the camera is in. If we're in program, we'll have exposure and ISO and white balance. But aperture and shutter will float. If I change the aperture priority, now I can control the aperture, but not the shutter. In shutter priority, the aperture floats and I can control the shutter. And of course, in manual mode, I can control aperture, shutter, and ISO, and I'll get a readout here of what the camera thinks the appropriate exposure is. In terms of focusing, when the camera's in manual focus mode, I have several controls here. The AF button simply refocuses where the current focus position is. I can tap and hold to set a focus position, or I can drag to move my focus position where I want it. I also have a magnification control that turns on the camera's image mag, and that's available both in picture-in-picture -picture and in full screen mode. And these are also adjustable by dragging. There's a peaking control that turns on the peaking in the camera. But the problem with a lot of the cameras, including the GH4, is that the peaking signal goes away when in record mode. So instead of using peaking in the camera, turn it off, go into Field Monitor's Image tab, and use the Focus Assist. There are several kinds. There's an analog focus assist that works like the focus peaking in an old school viewfinder. There's an edge control that really emphasizes edges. This is very handy when focus is the most important thing to find in a shot. And there are two varieties of digital peaking. There's a red and there's a cyan. So you can pick whichever one of these you want. When the camera's in AF mode, you no longer have the manual controls, but you can still drag and set your focus point wherever you want it. In this case, the camera's in tracking mode, so that new focus point will travel with the subject. What about operating the camera directly? Let's switch to image app So let's switch the camera back to manual mode. And you'll notice that whenever I adjust any control on the camera, whether it's the shutter speed, the aperture, the focus, anything, we get this camera operations in progress pop up. It blocks the picture and it makes direct operation of the camera with remote monitoring almost useless. Field monitor doesn't do that. Now, the camera doesn't allow direct manipulation and remote control at the same time, so we still get a camera busy message that pops up whenever we adjust any controls, but it doesn't block the picture, and it's only on screen for as long as is necessary. The camera will tell us as soon as it's available to work again. And even modes like adjusting aperture and shutter speed, where the busy message will stay up for a long time, if we just half tap the shutter button, it will go away very quickly. Furthermore, you may remember that we have the Hide tab that allows us to hide and show various controls. If I have camera controls and top line controls turned on, you may find this distracting, having the controls enabled and disabled. But if we tap the screen to declutter it, now we can focus and operate as much as we want without any distractions. 
Other things to know. If your camera allows you to switch your shutter speed and sensitivity to different modes, for example, angles for the shutter, that will show up in field monitor and it's adjustable the same way. By the same token, if you go to dB of gain, that's adjustable as dB in field monitor, just as it is on the camera. If you manually focus an electronically coupled lens while magnification is turned on, what you'll find is that the camera stays in busy mode and doesn't recover quickly unless you push a button on the camera itself. The most important step for this is to make sure that manual focus assist on the camera is not set to trigger when the lens ring is turned. The other thing, prevent getting trapped in this mode. For example, if you're working on a gimbal and you can't get to the camera to press a button, go into field monitor settings, scroll down to camera options, and turn Panasonic image mag off. This disables the buttons in field monitor so that you can't automatically or accidentally get it into focus mag mode which would cause lock up in busy mode if you manually focus the lens. When you're shooting stills, the auto review time set up in the camera that determines how long it still remains on screen determines how long the picture remains up on field monitor. So if it's set to two seconds and I take a picture, I have a frozen image for two seconds. If instead the duration time is set to hold, Now the picture will stay up there indefinitely. The way to get out of this is to tap the screen to set the focus, or if you're in manual focus mode, you can also tap the AF button to clear the review picture and return to live view.